Coach, just a couple of hits tonight. I mean, uh, you know, Friday nights I know have been a bit of a struggle for you, but uh, what were you seeing tonight from their starter and your hitters? I thought their starter came out as good as anybody we'd seen all year for the first three innings. And then I thought we did a good job of what we do, kind of wearing him out, getting some walks, some HPPs. And then when we got him tired, we just we had opportunities to drive some runs in, and we just, you know, we need to put the ball in play. And we just didn't put the ball in play. I think we struck out maybe 13 times a night, which is very uncharacteristic of our offense. And, uh, you know, we had chances just to grab momentum, you know, and and we don't grab the momentum. Speaking of momentum, that, in that situation there, in first and first and second, Ross takes off for third. Marshawn doesn't trail there. Kind of, kind of what went wrong there? Left-handed hitter up there. It was just a lot of things that made that kind of a curious play. Yeah, you know, we we, we have green lights and have guys run green lights. It's probably a young kid being aggressive and, a, and probably not the right moment. And so uh, I like the fact that Ross plays hard and he's not scared. He just probably, you know, when you like you said, it's left-handed hitter. Their guy's melting down. There's a lot of things going on in that, that opportunity. Um, probably, probably would redo it if we had to. That way, Cade's performance just gave him a couple of swings. A yeah, two swings, right? Like, I mean, two swings on the night. I thought Cade was really good. Uh, four pitches for strikes, competed all night long. I, I thought it was uh, pretty special. How did you guys kind of handle pitching going into this week and, and in this game today? We just got it as a staff right now. I mean, Cheese was a catcher and, co you know, has caught. I've caught. I've been with pitchers. And so, and I've worked, um, you know, we, we sit and talk and hear it all day long. So it's kind of been a whole staff thing. What, what did you sense the, I guess, the, uh, the emotions or the, the mindset that, that staff, um, pitching staff, heading into to the series just began? They've been great. They've been great. I mean, obviously, uh, it's been a tough week in some ways, but they have moved past it. Uh, they're fighting. They're competing. They're trying to do everything they can. And so um, they've worked really hard. I thought we had some guys give us some really good efforts tonight. How did you guys kind of handle that, you know, with, with the players this week? Obviously, you know, he, he's a coach, but also someone they've gotten to know, you know, pretty well the past couple of years. How, how did you kind of – You'll get that message to them and kind of move forward this week. We had a meeting on Monday, just sat and talked. I think when I called the meeting, I think most of them knew, you know, what the meeting was. And um, it's just, you know, just unfortunate. You know, just, um, you know, Fox is a lifelong friend. We played rival schools and everything else. It's just, um, you know, felt like the time and the moment. Um, he's an unbelievable pitching coach. We won a national championship together. We've just, we have had a really tough two years on the, on the mound. and. Um, just trying to uh, spark these guys here to the finish. Obviously, I don't want to see you get fined or anything like that, but have you ever seen umpire interference twice in the same inning? And you know, can, can you comment about an explanation about that at all? It, just, it was just twice, and, and that, that's why I got upset. The first time I saw it, I didn't. But when it happens twice like that, it puts you in a tough situation of, you know, like, come on. And we had the base stolen. Ross had stolen that base, you know, really good jump and, and taking it. And, you know, in a big moment in the game, and, and you know, that's my, my thing was I was on the umpire about get back. I mean, it happens once, all right, but it shouldn't happen twice. Obviously, yeah, tomorrow's a big day for you trying to even the series. Uh, what, what are your pitching plans for tomorrow? We're going to talk about it when we go in. Um, probably one of the guys you've seen out there the last couple of weeks. We'll put it out here pretty soon. I called us a couple of hits tonight. You were in the middle of everything out there, but, uh, you know, what made their starter so effective tonight? Uh, he was just mixing it good, hit his uh, location, painting the corners, and uh, he had a little bitty up on it. So, you had a couple of strikeouts looking at it, and one of them I know you didn't like there. But uh, you know, how hard is that, you know, for a veteran guy like yourself to kind of deal with that flushing get ready for the next day? Being, uh, well, you know, I've been doing it for a while now, and I know it's baseball. It's hard. It's gonna happen. So uh, you just gotta go into the next day with all the confidence you can have. How tough is that for you guys? I mean, you had eight walks, a couple hit by pitch. You had some runners on base. There's some chance of looking to kind of get that big hit. I guess just how tough is that knowing that, you know, there were those opportunities there? I mean, it's frustrating, um, you know, trying to get those guys in and then do a, do a job. Um, it's just frustrating, man. For Kate to go out there and throw six innings after, you know, uh, Coach Boxhall got fired earlier in the, in the week, um, this can be talk or speak about just how that group sort of picked themselves up to, to pitch half they did. Uh, well, I mean, like I said before, it's the same game we've been playing. Um, you know, we just keep doing our thing and uh, play with as much confidence as we can. So, What's this week been like? I mean, I'm for you, you have an assistant coach that you guys, I know you, you admire and respect a lot, and he's no longer with the team. What's it been like from a player's standpoint? You know, we've just been keeping our head down in practice and uh, getting ready for the Razorbacks and uh, just focusing on what we need to focus on. Obviously, tomorrow's a big day for you guys. You know, what do you need to do? Come out here tomorrow and even the series up. Uh, we just got to capitalize more on uh, 
on uh, people on base and uh, just play with confidence. How does that kind of work when the other team, you know, hasn't announced a starting pitcher? Do you guys have scouting reports ready for like a bunch of different pitchers on their roster? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's tough, man. It's tough, especially when you you don't really know what what stuff he's got, what his tendencies are um, before the game. So it makes it a little bit a little bit tougher. Um, yeah. yeah. And Cole came in and kind of gave you guys a hold too. I mean, how important is that for the offense to help you kind of remain patient while the game slows down a little bit? I mean, from an offensive standpoint, maybe rather than you know swinging, over swinging. I'm um, just just having the in the back of your mind uh, that you just got to do a job. Yeah, you just got to get on base, find a way. Um, every chance you get.